Hey everyone, we are back here at Peak Human Studios, Peak Human Labs, and I have in my hand, Dr. Sa congratulations by the way, I don't think we've talked, I haven't held the book in front we've, of you guys. Yeah, we've indirectly talked about yes, it. Yes, yeah. exactly. This is the top 10 must-do Peak Human Biohacks of 2023, and today we're going to dive into a little bit on Chapter 3, Exosomes, the regenerative medicine bullet. So what right. is that? Okay, yeah. So exosomes, many of you haven't really heard about that, but um, uh, they're kind of like the latest craze in this whole regenerative medicine space. Um, previously, people used to think talk about stem cells. Yes. And, you know, because of regu uh, various regulations and safety concerns, stem cells have really fallen out of favor. Really? Uh, but exosomes is what's really kind Replacing of the hot, it? which is really okay. the hot thing. And, okay. and what are exosomes? Exosomes are like the, which I, would, I want to call it the messenger signals, like little packets of messengers and messaging signals and molecules that are within the cells, within the stem cells. Okay. And so the exosomes are in the stem cells yeah, themselves. And, and they're okay. basically what allow the cells to talk to each other. Okay. So they're composed of uh, RNA, microRNA, uh, growth factors, nucleic acids. They're basically the, the molecules that allow the cell to talk to each other and to send signals to each other. Okay. And through so the little, little circles, little, let's say, packets, if you want to call it, yep. that are secreted by these stem cells so that it can go send a message to another cell. Okay. Let's and say what's, that, the what, what's the message it's carrying, though? The message would be like, okay, let's start, start growing or start repairing or... You know, so it's a regenerative it message. Could, it could be any type of message, okay. but I mean, stem cells generally it's about repairing, repairing and growth, and growth. Yeah, yeah, generally. Exactly. But I mean, so that's why people generally want, you know, not all exosomes are the same, right? but uh, they generally want exosomes from a young cell or a stem cell. So it sounds like exosomes are a positive thing. It seems to be in the like research. From, from communication yeah, wise and everything yeah, else. Yeah, it seems to be that these exosomes uh, have some potential to be helpful in, in treating various diseases. And, and I looked up two, two of the major ones right now. One is uh, cosmetic. Okay. So uh, to uh, topically, there are FDA approved uh, therapies out there for topical use of exosomes on the skin. So does that mean um, it will help hyperpigmentation or more like youthful skin? More youthful, like let's okay. say wrinkles and okay. like, you know, improving collagen in the face. And see people put li the, the exosome comes in like a liquid and they put it on okay. their face. And it basically, you know, seeps into the skin and has an effect of improving the skin quality. So that's, that's one thing. Uh, more on a research side, though, is the use of exosomes to actually inject into the body. Ooh. So this is where, you know, Isolate again, to an isolated area? Yeah, I mean, theoretically, you could also inject it intravenously. And right. And there's not that much research on that. But for sure, like, uh, people, and I've, you know, it they, they has been used for, like, uh, improving hair growth. Okay. So injections right into the scalp or, in, you know. There's something in your book called osteoarthritis it recovery. It's used, used uh, for arthritis. Okay. And that's injecting it into the, into the joint. But again, these are not FDA approved therapies, all done in research. But the science looks pretty good that uh, it seems to have a benefit for these types of conditions because exosomes reduce inflammation. Mm -hmm. And uh, osteoarthritis is an inflammation disorder. Right. So, uh, also, cardiac regeneration, cardiovascular uh, diseases? Uh, again, research-based. Research, based. okay. Yeah, very difficult <laughs> to inject anything into the heart. Yeah, yeah. But again, could, you know, research stage could be done like that. So, uh, is because it's not like, I know stem cells are regulated, exosomes mm -hmm. are likely regulated. Mm -hmm. Do we just talk to our physician? Like, it's, it's not available to the average person, right? Uh, it's available if you, yeah, you should go to your physician who's in the regenerative space. Maybe mm -hmm. not your, you know, regular doctor may not know very much about it, but go to your uh, physician who's in the regenerative space and probably can direct you to where you can get these exosomes from. But like I said, topical exosomes are definitely more available. They may even be available online, right? but uh, this is I coming. I wonder if it would be useful for bird victims or if it's more... Oh, I've seen, I've yeah? seen some very interesting... Um, uh, you know, case studies on the use of exosomes for burn treatments. Yeah, I would think so, and, because and if it's incredible, regenerative. Okay. Incredible recovery. So 
again, we have these anecdotal case studies. We need mm -hmm. more studies, but exosomes, like I wrote in that book, is one of those things you should be exploring if you're looking at regenerative uh, I'm treatments. I'm thinking sunburn, scratch, all could kinds be, of stuff. <laughs> could be uh, that too as well, but yeah. for sure, um, yeah, I've heard about burns and yeah. uh, definitely aging uh, wrinkles and Great. Uh, hair growth and things like that. Well, that's just one of 10 hacks. We are going through them as we move along, yeah. uh, but you can get this. Where can they get this? Uh, this is available on Amazon. It's on Kobo and on iBooks. So yes. look it up. Top 10 must do peak human biohacks of 2023. It's a small little book, easy read, but yes. it's gonna hopefully open your eyes to what's the latest trends uh, that are happening in the space of, of medicine right now. Love that. And if you're enjoying this series and any of our videos, please subscribe, hit like, send us a comment, and more importantly, we, we're here to answer your questions. So we'll see you next week. Next week, guys. Take care.